Okay, so here I am with Mickey Theo, uh, whose fight with John Fury is looking like it's off. Um, so we want to get to the truth of the matter and find out if it is off, if the rumours are true. So Mickey, is the fight off? Um, the answer to that is, uh, at the moment, um, I honestly don't know because it's, it's all in the hands of John Fury and his management, really, to come forward and tell us the fight's not on. Um, because at the moment we don't know what's happening. No one's coming forward, although we've asked in our last interview. Um, it would be nice for one of them to come forward and the fight fans or their fans or my fans or all of our fans what the situation is because there's a big question mark at the moment what's happening. So can you categorically state that you haven't mutually agreed with John's management to call off the fight? You still want to fight? Nothing's been agreed uh, regarding calling the fight off. I know there's some people been on the on on YouTube saying it's off, it's this, it's that. A lot of people just making up stories. Uh, the only reason the way we uh, really know that uh, it's off if John or his management gets up and says we don't want to fight McFeo and the story, blah blah blah. Um, you know, and that's fine for me. You know, but they categorically haven't yet. Um, Spencer or John come up and said that. Okay. Um, so I think they want it just to, to, to blow in the wind somewhere uh, in the day. Now, when I've interviewed you before, some people on the web have said I've been a bit biased towards you, um, but it's difficult um, not to only get one side when John Fury doesn't want to do any interviews. And I know he's turned down a lot of interviews from other channels uh, about this fight. Why has he been so silent apart from the video that he put out the other day? I haven't got a clue. Um, one minute he's doing videos, the next minute he says, you know, he, he, he's not a 14-year-old child doing videos, you know. Um, I haven't got a clue, honestly, what, what's in his mind, what he's thinking, or what his management are thinking. At the end of the day, his manager the to be looking after his bo the boxer. Management gone to acquire. But management can only take um, uh, instructions from the boxer, I believe. Um mm -hmm. Or if he's, I don't know, if he's a proper manager, he would uh, advise his boxer what to do. I'm interested in what people are saying on, on the internet. And, and people are saying out there that if you had Bottle, you could have fought in his back garden. Um, why didn't you? Because, I mean, I suppose if you had gone up and fought in his back garden, you would have been almost like, well, I'm an incredibly sort of heroic figure that you'd gone into the, you know, the enemy's backyard and, and, and had a fight. What, what do you say to those people who say that? Um, it's easy for them people to say uh, that they're not in, they're not in, uh, in any of the boxers' position at the moment. But um, like I say, uh, I don't want to keep going back on it. The deal was um, fight John Fury in a proper boxing ring with Queen of the Rooks. And that was it, basically. That was the challenge from day one. He knew where the challenge was. And uh, although he came up on his first interview raging about it, he then on to his interviews, he... Took it like a gentleman, he accepted the challenge, to be fought in the ring, and uh, since then he just keeps changing his mind. So, I mean, if you had fought in his garden, would it have suited you better because you've had so many street fights and you've had no sort of uh, boxing fights in the ring? Listen, it's not a problem for me to do anything at the end of the day. We're looking at uh, pleasing the fans out there, yeah, and doing it for a good cause. Uh, that's the main uh, objection on this subject. Now, I understand, uh, I, well, the rumours have been that there have been concerns because of the animosity between the two of you and, and, and the, the kind of uh, aggression that it's caused amongst uh, people who are interested in this fight, that, that certain venues uh, maybe didn't want to put this fight on. I think you should take that question back because there's no animosity with me, John, um, it would, from me against John. Mm -hmm. I think the animosity is against me on John's side for some unknown reason reason he's, he's he's gone into a rage it's only simple to talk like a gentleman yeah hmm. so get all this rage get the phone up spencer will give him my mobile number we can have a chat on the phone i'm you know i'm an easy guy you know he can tell me he can ring me up if he wants on the phone he said so tell me just wait you know me i might have for it mate you know he was he, like he said in one of his interviews you know he's, he's been there he's seen it he's done it you know he don't need to get in the ring but there we go after that he, he's off your mind ties and that so I, I don't know where his mind is what he's thinking and where this is going you know but um, i've got no animosity against john at all I've got no rage against john all i wanted was a challenge 
But what he said, that he was the strongest for his, you know, 54-year-old. That's what it was, a pure challenge. And I thought, you know what, we're doing for the NHS, a lovely cause, you know, with the pandemic in the, in the, in the, at the moment, how it is. Fantastic. You couldn't do it. wish to do anything else. Good for, you know, for the country, especially the NHS. And, um, you know, it, 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 it would have been good for John if he stayed mellow and, and went through the, 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 the fight. And it showed the members of the public, as well as fight fans, he's a changed man from what he, he's, he was way for, you know. People look at him in another light. But he continues to do that, and then, boof, he's exploded again. Um, and he's shown his true colours, which I believe we should just calm, calm down, make things easy, and do the right thing, you know. So, I mean, if the fight is off which we still don't know, why hasn't John's team uh, issued a statement? Surely they would just come out and say, I mean, if the fight is not happening, they'd come out and say, due, due to various reasons, uh, the, the fight is no longer, it's not going to take place. Why, why haven't they done that? I believe, I don't know, I'm, I'm assuming that John's dog Spencer have nothing to do with it anymore, and that he, Spencer's got to take his instructions. So that's what I believe. Um, John don't want to speak to me. He don't even mention my name in the last videos. I'm using my name or something. He said I wouldn't give give me the, the, the time in the world. I'm a ship the Malik pig, whatever how we ever stayed it. So I think honestly, jo John's instructing Spencer. Um, do not talk to these people. And that was it, really. I believe um, I might be wrong, but I don't know. I'm, well, I'm, I'm baffled to, to to the whole situation at the moment. And I throw the fans of Batwood for an answer. Why, why do you think John Fury has not just come out and said, look, I just don't fancy this, I don't want to do it? Um, to be honest, I do not have a clue, but uh, as it stands, he said it already. I am not saying anything. He's led people to believe it is what it is, and he don't want to fight. And uh, I think that's the story at the moment. I'm not going to keep pursuing him and, and, and hassle him, and uh, as he says, Fortune, you know, keep making videos and all this. It's not, it's not about this. It's about trying to get this wonderful cause going for both sides, um, projecting himself as a as a, as, a, as a good guy, um, and a change character for what he's become. How difficult would it be now for John Fury to call someone out again? <laughs> that question, I don't know. Um, depends what the guy's all about. Um, you know, uh, I believe he will continue calling people up and there will be another a, a, a case that someone stands up to his challenge and he'll put him back in the same situation that he's at the moment I believe everyone's going, not everyone's going to bow down from a challenge from him are they? No. especially after seeing this now, I'm, I'm a huge fan of uh, Tyson Fury. I think what Tyson Fury did, you know, coming back from depression, winning the title, I think it's absolutely amazing. Um, would it have been better if John Fury had just knocked you back in the first place, saying he wanted to enjoy his son's amazing achievements? I mean, people wouldn't have thought badly of him, would they? No, not at all, not at all. You know, I think Tyson Fury's done an amazing um, comeback from his depression, and I'd take my health to him, I think he's a great guy. And it would have, yeah, I suppose it would have been nice for John just to say, you know, thank you, but no thank you, sir. <laughs> and done. And uh, what can I say? I said, okay, man, no problem. You know, um, it was just uh, the, the words he used, he's the fittest 54 year old on the planet. Me, I'm 56. I believe I'm fitter than John, but I don't believe I'm the fittest on the planet. So he's, he's sitting in front of his TV, he's having a great time, and this, this bloke he's never heard of comes on and challenging, challenges him, the internet goes mad, he must be really pissed with you. I don't know how he thought, he probably was pissed with me because he did say he was minding his, his own business and, um, you know, and this guy's offering me out. But you don't think about the times when he offers people at himself, um, how the, 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 the opposite, uh, opposition feel and think and take it to heart with him. Correct, does it? It's a different story then, isn't it? Hmm. It's okay to call people out, but when you're called out, and you're constantly they're on it to, to get this, this match on. It's just a um, listen. Two guys are in with boxing gloves on. Queensbury rules. You know we've got gloves on it today. We're having a boxing match. You know, and best man win for a very good cause. That's what it was. Um, you know, people look at different ways. 
So how long are you going to keep pushing him to fight? If there's absolutely nothing coming back from that side, uh, will you keep asking him to to respond, or or will you just let it go? I think I think as today we've already got our answer. He doesn't want to fight. I'm not going to continue um, hassling John because I think it's hassling me. me. I'm not, every, listen, every time I make an interview, it's not calling him out. It's people want interviews to know what's good for the rest of the fight fans to know what's going on. So if you're watching this, John, you probably will be sometime. I'm not calling you out by making this video. I'm being asked questions about fights, and I'm not gonna. I'm not calling you out anymore. You know, I've done enough of that. We did have a little chat, me and your management, about, you know, your, your side does a bit, then we don't. It's a bit of banter both sides to get the crowds more interested, yeah? And then all of a sudden, you've got flying off the, off the handle again, raging ball, and you're not playing the game, you know? At the end of the day, you know, boxing, uh, when there's big, big opponents fighting, well, people want to see, especially what's happened to this um, event, how viral when it's gone, it's gone all over the world. Uh, a crowd are crazy, so you know, it's about working together, banter remove both ends, and that's what we were trying to do, you know. And especially his management said, "Look, n nothing too serious. Take it easy." I said, "No, we said go." Oh, Spencer spoke to my my trainer Noel, and he said, "Look, you know, next time just nice and easy." Well, we, we are nice and easy and very polite, and watch what we say, which is very respectful all the way. You know, I do believe, and I'm sure you believe. You, you you've heard and seen and um, read our, our scripts, and it's all very respectful on this end, my end. Um, never intimidated, never swore in a sense. Look how I called you the, the odd chicken and weasel. And but when John got with a tantrum, okay, I've upped it a little bit, but in a respectful way. Um, I've never been disrespectful to John in any way, um, or, or or Spencer, you know. We'll take back the weasel, we we'll take back the chicken. I'll take back everything I've said to them. Yes, I'll talk to me. Listen, at the end of the day, we're grown men. Okay, you don't want to fight, don't want to fight, not a problem. I wish you all the best and uh, the health in, in, in the world to come. You know? I'm not a bad guy, I'm a humble guy. It's just that, you know, the challenge was there. He challenged, he's saying he's the, he's the fittest, strongest on in, you know, in the world. So, listen, not a problem. I wouldn't, I, I'm not calling you out, John. I'm just answering questions. You know, people want to know, and that, that is all it is, mate. So, you know, don't get lost, you lose your temper on this one. This is just a little bit of chit chat to tell people because obviously your, your, your management and yourself are not coming forward with this. So, I'm not going to keep, I wouldn't call it calling you out. I'm not going to do, do too many more of these because I'm wasting my time, basically. So, if, if his management came out and said the fight is definitely off. Would you leave it all alone and just move on? Well, I'm going to leave it alone anyway because yet they're not coming back. We've asked for that already, and obviously they're not interested in coming back and and and, and, and announcing it. I don't for whatever reason I don't know. Like I say, John's probably said to his manager, no, no, "No more talking to the other side. Finish it. He doesn't want to hear anymore. He's fed up with hearing my interviews about our fight that was meant to take place." John agreed. Uh, he'd, he'd um, fight me. Um, the chance accepted it, and uh, I even respect him for that. Thank you very much. You know, for giving me a chance to fight a bit of a celebrity and um, a, a pro boxer. You know, it was a, just a challenge for me um, for a good cause, and that's what it was. You know, there's no um, uh, many saw you know any anything, uh, intent in what I've ever said in my interviews in the past. So. If the fight is off, would you ever consider again going into the ring with someone else high profile, um, you know, on, on a different occasion? Is that something you'd like to do or was this more like just a one-off, really? To be honest, it was a one-off. Uh, he just got in the morning about someone saying that this or that and blah, 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 whatever they said. And I thought I'd go for the challenge because I believe I was uh, um, two years older and fitter and stronger and do the job. Um no, I wouldn't uh, consider it because it was just in the spare of the moment. So, no, not for me. Um, I do. I, I love training. I continue training. Um, and you know, it's, it's, it's just I don't know. It's just something that turned, popped up that day, and I thought, got a goal of me basically. You know, and I thought I'd go for it. 
unfortunately it's not happening and and there's so much interest out there for this but it's a shame but never mind you know it's no chapter in my life um and yeah I mean, for when I look on the web, public support seems to sway to your side because your message has never actually changed that you, you wanted to fight to raise money for the NHS. Do you think you've you've damaged John's reputation by all of this? What do you want to say? I'll leave it to the public to decide that. I'm not going to um, say anything that's John's. We're going to work John, not work, fire him up. And, um, I'll leave that to the, to the public to decide. Um, like I said, I just wanted to uh, challenge with John for a good, good, good cause at the end of the day. Uh, it's not happening, it's not happening. So that question will, I can leave to the public. I'm not interested uh, about what reputation is damaged or not. And, you know, it's, it, it is what it is at the end of the day. Um, I've tried to get it on. Okay, maybe he doesn't want it. Whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm getting a bit fed up and cheesed off about the old situation. Bit of a letdown for me. It's not going ahead. Um, as we have so many people interested and want to see it. And you know what? At the end of the day, it's a good cause. Um, can only do what I can only do in, in life. And, you know, it's like anything, you know, you start a plan, you go through it, you either make it or break it. And at the end of the day, it's like building, a, I don't know, building an engine. You've never done it before. And your challenge is to build that engine, and you know, and you try your best in every angle, or your tools, and you try to put it all together, and you do it. You either crack it or you don't crack it. It's the same as, as it, I suppose. At this stage, this engine is not letting me, let, let me rebuild it. So it's it's just like a case of that at the moment because something's broken on the engine, and it ain't going ahead. Yeah. In your your voice, so that I can hear you, you sound quite disappointed i mean it's been such a big thing on the internet and all that i think i think a lot of people will be uh, fairly disappointed that the fight looks like it's not going to happen uh, i mean it must sort of kind of upset you really yeah, i am a bit upset to be honest yeah. well, 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 you know um see i was really looking forward to this um i was buzzing for this fight to happen um but yeah um, i am upset a little bit heartbroken is the word um but you know what? It is what it is. We've just got to move forward. There's loads of things turn up in life, and uh, you know you get heartbroken. It's a, life's a challenge at the end of the day. You know, from when we were born to when we die, it's every everything in life is a challenge. You know, um, you know, challenge to pay your bills, challenge to get work, challenge to put food and say, well, everything's a challenge in life. It's, sometimes you say to yourself, is this life? Is this reality? You know. Um, it's not easy life, you know, and, and everything we do in life is a challenge. So this is another challenge that hasn't happened and gone wrong, shall I say. Um, gone wrong is not a word, really, but it just never happened. And, uh, it looked like it was going to happen, and it's, it's not, you know. I suppose, you know, being some people, a lot of people out there, they play the lottery, and it, it's a challenge, yeah. And, and they're waiting for the numbers, and a lot of people can't wait to, you know, they'll be able to check their numbers. And it's disheartening. They didn't win it, but, you know. They, probably a lot of poor people out there that want that win and it's the same thing it's a challenge and then it's like you, you build your hopes yeah I've got a good feeling this week and then bang you know, and it's down again and you're down digging the trenches and then the following lot it comes up same thing it's, life is a challenge at the end of the day you know would you ever consider meeting up with him after all this uh, Social distancing and stuff is is over for a drink, maybe have a, an arm wrestle or something, and move on. Listen, I don't mind meeting anyone in this world, you know, and even an arm wrestle doesn't have to come into it. You know, I mean, uh, listen, I don't think he would. The tone of his voice and his actions, um, it was me. Don't, he don't want to see me. He, he's hurt from what's happened. Now, what's happened? What has really happened? How have I hurt him? Why is he raging the way he is? I've never hurt anyone. I've said nothing bad to anyone, you know? I said a few words after his rage, which was, I think, OTT. Um, but I say, the next day, he probably thought, fucking, what have I done? It's not a problem. Whatever he's done, whatever he's said, you know what I mean? Uh, it doesn't bother me, you know? I don't take it in and I'm hurt from it or um, upset for it or uh, in any way or form or manner. John is a man, I'm a man, you know, sometimes men mouth off things and uh, 
I don't think he'd want to meet me, honestly. He, the, the, the way, what language come out of his mouth and his actions towards me and what, what he wants to do to me alone, he's not a man that would, would want to, um, uh, I don't think, sit down with me. But listen, my door's open for him, mate. All right. If he changes his mind and uh, he wants to sit down, have a drink, drink and a laugh about what, what, what's happened, it's not a problem for me. I don't hold grudges in a sense, you know. He hasn't hurt me in in in, in, uh, in any other form or manner, you know. It was only a challenge, and uh, at the end of the day, it hasn't happened, you know. He can go where his way, I go my way, and uh, get on with our lives, you know. People um, on the internet have been branding John Fury in a certain way. H how do you feel um, he will be remembered in relation to you? Like I say, that that question, I leave it to all the people that were, were wanted John to win and all the negativity that come my way from the people that wanted him to win, you know, like, all right, be this and that, you bit off too much to chew. I let them decide because they're the ones that were the outside people that were mouthing off, um, putting me down. And so let them take a minute uh, uh, to themselves and look at the reality of this and, and, and they'll get their answer themselves. I don't need to say what's what. Um, like I say, I don't need to push this further so John gets upset. I won't say anything more that's going to even, um, you know, to get him into a rage or even think about raging because, listen, we're too far gone down past um, the last um, shout-out, uh, the rage. So, it's obviously, he speaks for himself. And that last race um, statement he made um, is basically telling you in a nutshell, you know, stop making videos, I'm not interested, and that's it, I believe. Um, so, it is what it is, like I say, and um, I'll move on. And uh, unfortunately, this chapter never happened. <laughs> it was there. It'd be a nice chapter in my life, though, I mean... It was a roller coaster. Yeah, the roller coaster is the word, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was astonishing. I mean, the publicity went... Around, around the world and everybody knows who you are now, will there be some satisfaction in that, that people know who you are no, nowadays? No, not at all. Not for me. And I've said it before, John Blue, that I'm doing this for the limelight. I'm not that type of person. You've probably heard what type of person I have. You know, we've done many interviews together. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not one for the limelight. I mean, <laughs> another thing they all say out there is you did this as a whole publicity stunt because you've got a book coming out so is can you put that to rest well we said it before there's no book coming out i would yeah. never make a, a even a, a, a book or a film or listen i've been asked to, many many times to appear in a book yeah um one of the books was called hard bastards hmm. well what i want to check myself check myself check myself, check myself, myself going into a book like that I don't want to portray myself as a hard bastard because I'm just a normal guy. You know, that's what I am. Um, like I said before, we've got, we're a human body and we've got feelings, we've got emotions. And if someone comes at you to kill you, what are you going to do? Laugh at him. You know, you've got to defend yourself. And that's, I've defended myself all my life. That was my job, you know, unfortunately. Um, done many, many years of it um, on the doors. Um, and, what you're doing, you're putting your life at stake for for, for a club owner um, at the end of the day. And uh, it all starts off, you're doing a bit of training, you put a bit of size, then, you, you know, you're young, you get stopped, get involved with the doors, and then it continues. And you just you get deeper and deeper into it as you get better at it. And uh, you become a wanted person in the sense of that, you know, people want you to work in their clubs. Um, and that's how it all starts, basically. So, um, the final thing, which doesn't relate too much to, to this, is that I've seen sort of various things on YouTube where people uh, are saying it is you, you know, that from a Twitter account or a, a YouTube account. I saw yesterday um, somebody commenting saying that they were Mickey Theo and, and talking about everything. Can you just put to bed that anything that is on the web that you have not said personally is not you? Correct. I don't. I don't have Facebook. I don't have Instagram. I don't have Twitter. We've mentioned this before, and there's someone still on Twitter, and um, 
and uh, like Peter Fury said, that's uh, that Mickey Fio uh, tweeted it, but I don't have a, I don't have an account, and I think John had the same problem <laughs> before me. Mm-hmm. Someone obviously made it made the account because he, he, he's never had one, mm-hmm. and they were they were saying the same things. These people got nothing else better to do, still on the internet, make up accounts and wind other people up. Uh, no, I don't have any of that. I'm not thinking of making a, a, a book. I, I never will make a book because I don't want to talk about myself. I'm a very humble, quiet person. People who know me would, would say that, but obviously people that have their strangers, a lot of people want to be on in, in social media. And this was never like done for that five minute of um, fame. If it isn't John Fury uh, fighting in the ring, we're not going to see you suddenly make a comeback. Uh, somewhere else. Mm, definitely no, no. No. Now, if I, if I wouldn't have a bit of fame, I'd be calling other people out, wouldn't I? Yeah, yeah. Okay. The fight doesn't look like it's happening. I think we're all sure of that now. Have you got a little message to the people who've been interested in this, uh, the people who, who've been against you and wanted to see you get smashed up and the people that uh, supported you? Yeah, just a big thank you to everyone for the interest they've shown. Um, I mean, it was, it was just amazing how viral this went on me calling out John Fury. Um, big thank you to all the fans for all the goods and bad um, tweets or whatever you, you want to call it. I'm not into all the tweets that is that. I, I believe the tweets or messages you sent, uh, um, the negatives especially, and the positives. Um, and it's a shame that uh, this fight, as it um, escalated, uh, viral. It showed so much interest. Um, it's a shame it didn't go ahead, but uh, a, a big thank you to everyone, especially my sponsors, um, official watches, a watch company, the supply you only watch at a decent price, uh, Ability Group, um, Hotel Group, which uh, does a lot of London Hilton hotels, um, Raymond Davis, good sponsor of mine, Taste of Cyprus, and what you fancy, online casino, gambling, uh, very, very big company coming forward all the way, um, place your bets with them. Uh, so once again, what you fancy, um, online casino, gambling, amazing uh, company, and uh, they're, they're going to be probably number one in, by the end of the year. Uh, yeah, that's what I've got to say at the moment. Fantastically. If, if, only if John Fury changes his mind, we can get back on the track, and move forward and do this for a magnificent course. I mean, you know, NHS. Yeah, I, I mean, what, what's been, for me, a bizarre about this situation is that every time that I've thought it's, it's off, suddenly it rears its head up again. But I think in this case, it's not going to, from what I, I understand. And we can, you can categorically say that it is not you that is calling the fight off. You, you always wanted to have this fight. I still want to fight, but listen, I can't, I'm not going to keep going on and on and on. You know, you, if someone does, it's, it's like, you know, he's trying to drag the horse over to drink the water. He, if he don't want the water, you ain't going to drag him over. When it's time and he wants it and he feels, you know what, I fancy that, he'll come drink water. When he's thirsty enough, he'll drink. I don't think he's thirsty enough to come back out um, and, uh, uh, and, and and accept the challenge. I mean, we've got loads of time to get this on, John. I mean, listen... Forget what's happened. I'll say it once more. I'm not going to keep saying it, John. But let's forget what's happened. Dig your heels in. Let's move forward on this fight. Um, it'll be for great cause. And but listen, I'm not going to keep digging. If if it's no, it's no, and I believe it's no at the moment. I believe I've done my best in a respectable way. And I'm, at the moment, I'm looking at a no, and uh, it's a shame it's a no. Um, but uh, listen, here's what it is. It's only um, a bit of banter. Uh, it was it was for a good cause, and we can only do what we can do on my side and your side. So, what are you going to do now, Mickey? I want to continue doing what I'm doing. I love training, and I'll always train. And um, yeah, well, you know, it's part of life. Like I said, um, it was this wasn't about um, the five minute uh, um, fame that uh, it was put across to me. By a certain individual, this is not about fame, um, not about getting myself out there on the internet. It weren't about that at all. It was about the challenge within my heart for me to take on. And then my challenge was to, you know, see this through and become victorious. 
Um, unfortunately, it takes two to get in the ring, not one. Um, and unfortunately, it is what it is. It's become what it is, not on my behalf. And uh, it's a shame we never went forward because, uh, like I say, it was for a good cause. Well, it's been a it's been a sort of pleasure uh, doing these uh, chats with you, Mickey. As I say, I would love to have done some with John Fury, but um, that wasn't forthcoming. But um, I think uh, people uh, wish you uh, you know great success in the future, and, and I hope things go well for you. And the same to everyone that's uh, listening in and uh, followed this, um, and, I, and I wish uh, wish them all the, the very best in life. And I, and I wish it back to John. I mean, I mean, you know, there's no there's no harm what we've done. Just a boxing match, so uh, don't take things to our job. It's never happening. It's not going to happen, and that's it. You know, don't worry about it. You'll be alive. Enjoy your grandkids and your family, and uh, I wish you well, mate. That's all I've got to say. To you.